Welcome to the Social Media Show. My name is Jonathan Pollinger and I am here to talk to you all about social media and in particular this week, LinkedIn. So those of you that caught last week's show will be aware that they were, there were a couple of really useful LinkedIn messaging features that I was talking about. And the exciting one really was audio messaging. So soon, uh, assuming that the uh, test is satisfactory, you will be able to record a quick audio message and send that to your contacts and connections via LinkedIn. Pretty easy and quick way of communicating. And if you want to know more about that, check out the recording of last week's show. But uh, on top of that, there are a stack of new features that LinkedIn have announced this week concerning messages. I think there's about uh, six altogether, actually. So uh, let's have a look at those uh, six new features and uh, see how you can take advantage of them as a business. So welcome to the uh, show. Anybody that's uh, watching right now, if you are watching, do let me know that uh, that you're there. Just uh, say hi. Or of course, if you've got a question about uh, social media, please do post that in the comments so I can uh, answer you. So, okay, let's uh, look at these uh, these new uh, new features. So first of all, you can now extend the compose box. So this is where you write a message. And this is good if you have a lot to say in a message, uh, either group message or a one-to-one -one message on LinkedIn. Currently available on mobile, there's just like a, a little uh, arrow. Uh, in fact, I can probably uh, probably show you this a uh, little arrow that you can um, expand the uh, the message uh, with. So you've got the uh, messaging icon, and what we're mainly going to be talking about today are the messaging features available of this messaging icon. Uh, some differences between mobile and desktop, which I will aim to uh, to highlight. So that's the uh, that's the icon uh, there, and. Uh, we have got uh, the boxes uh, popped up here, uh, and you've got a number of options for adding, making additions to your message there, including the new uh, QDOS feature uh, that I've talked about before. This is the uh, QDOS feature uh, here, where you can uh, give QDOS to your um, to your contacts uh, and. Other things that I'll be uh, I'll be talking about uh, talking about soon. Uh, so you've got basically an expanded um, area to uh, to work about work on there. If you are in messaging um, within the messaging itself, so let's just go into the messaging section itself and find, click the plus icon this time to uh, start uh, a message here. So let's say I want to compose uh, a message here. You can see this, uh, decide who to uh, send it to, but it's this uh, icon there where basically you can uh, expand the uh, and contract the, uh, the message uh, size uh, there. Uh, okay, so other new uh, features are the ability to, another example of a new feature is the announced last week, is the ability to add attachments. So uh, really like this one, very, very useful. So if you want to attach, say, a PowerPoint or a Word document to your LinkedIn message, then you'll be able to, to do that. So I think in terms of sending documents across to people, PowerPoint slides across to people, uh, perhaps you're applying for a new, uh, new job, uh, you're sending over a quote or something like that, then uh, this new feature is going to be really, really useful. Uh, third one is uh, group messaging. So it's now easier to select people that you're going to send your group message to. So there's a kind of like smart suggestion feature so it's going to post up people that you currently work with uh, but perhaps you've worked with in the past and that sort of uh, that sort of thing also going to be easier to uh, remove people from um, from group messages as uh, as well uh, so yeah just in terms of when this is going to be available the compose uh, extended compose message box should be available right now on mobile, uh, if not very soon, and then coming to, to desktop after um, after that. Uh, the attachment should be available across the board, both mobile and desktop, very soon. 
And let's move on to the uh, fourth new feature. So there's, there's going to be a new emoji picker. So a um, bit of a debate around whether GIFs and emojis are suitable for, for LinkedIn. But personally, I think they're a, they're a great thing. Help to add a bit of color, emotion, and of course, fun to your uh, to your messages. So uh, I would encourage you to use uh, GIFs and emojis on LinkedIn. And they're certainly making this easier with things like the launch of this new emoji picker. Uh, which will be available on desktop first and then on mobile. So look out for that one. And the GIF search, you can now search for GIFs in messages on, uh, I think this is just on mobile, but uh, you can search for, for GIFs quite easily on LinkedIn messaging now and then uh, add a link to your message. Uh, thanks, uh, Jackie, for uh, watching. Anybody else that's uh, watching, do let me uh, know that uh, that you're there. Just say hi, or if you've got a question on social media, please do uh, please do ask. Uh, fifth one is you can at mention people. So now this is really handy. So if you're perhaps referring a connection to somebody that you're recommending, then you can basically just at message them. So, uh, sorry, at mention them. So basically you can just put the at symbol in there, select their name, and then they will be highlighted in that message. And the person receiving the message can just click on that and go and visit that person's profile. So uh, much easier, I think, that one than having to go onto LinkedIn, uh, find their profile, copying and pasting the address to their profile, and then pasting that into the message. So uh, at mentioning of uh, of people, that's uh, that, that's great. Uh, so that's up to think number five. And the sixth one is that uh, this will be desktop first. Not sure if this is coming to mobile. I imagine it, it will be, but we rolled out on desktop first. So this is the ability to copy and paste images into messages. So again, really, really handy. So you can basically, so for example, take a screenshot and then copy and paste that screenshot into your LinkedIn message. So uh, I can see myself using these a lot, and I hope you can uh, as well. So you know, taken all together, these six or seven, if you count audio messaging, and maybe even eight, because uh, it's been around for a while now, but I really like the relatively new active status feature. So this shows you where when connections are online. So you can sort of pick the best time to, to message them. If they're online, then you can sort of like get into a real uh, chat message style conversation, which can be uh, can be really quite, uh, quite useful. So look for that green dot in messaging, and uh, that will tell you whether somebody is online or not. So if you include that one as well, uh, then that's like eight recent new features just to messaging alone on LinkedIn. So I think all things considered, this is going to encourage people to, to use LinkedIn messaging, and I would certainly encourage you to do so because it's basically becoming more useful and convenient than email. Uh, emails tend to tend to get lost, but the rate of response and notifications for LinkedIn messages is so much better. And now you've got all this additional functionality, things like active status that uh, an audio messaging that email doesn't have. Uh, I think it's sort of becoming the preferred method of communication. Uh, good morning, Richard. Thanks for watching. Good morning, uh, Nigel from uh, from Cheltenham. Great that uh, you're there. Thanks, guys, for letting me know that uh, that you're watching right now. Uh, just thought I'd mention uh, even more LinkedIn news from uh, last week. So video captions. So you can basically now put text onto your videos as uh, as captions. And also another one is that you can highlight text within the LinkedIn mobile app. So say you found a useful quote from an article on LinkedIn, you can just highlight that and now share that easily as a post, which uh, I find quite uh, quite useful. So uh, do uh, do try doing that. Uh, works really well on, um, on iPad. Uh, I use that all the time. Uh, so uh, do check out all these new uh, new features. Hope they make your use of LinkedIn uh, even more useful than um, than it currently uh, currently is. And of course, don't forget that if you want daily updates, if you want the news literally as it happens, as it's announced, then do sign up for my daily social media, the social media daily, I call it, and it's basically uh, a message that goes out via WhatsApp, sent personally from me. So it's got uh, all the latest features announced on any particular day uh, with some insights from me in terms of how you might uh, might use them. 
uh, and perhaps a few, a few tips thrown in there as uh, as well. So uh, do check that out. Uh, it's on the homepage of my website, intranetfuture.com, called The Social Media Daily. And it's a snip at just uh, £4 a month. So thank you very much for uh, for watching. Don't appear to be any uh, any questions coming in. But if you do uh, have any questions, perhaps you're watching this on the, uh, on the replay, then please do post in the comments. And I will get to those as uh, soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you again soon on social media and continue to enjoy the uh, heat wave that we're having uh, right now.